So as we have completed the setup of our manifest file, uh, let's see what's next in our to-do list. So next thing in our to-do list is uh, to add the necessary libraries and dependencies which will be required to uh, initially start building our code and uh, design files. So here is a glimpse of uh, the, the, uh, the very first screen that we'll be designing. So on the very top, you can see that we have this cool animation. Uh, so we require to add the libraries for this and also uh, we need to add the navigation libraries. So as we are going to work with the navigation graph uh, and we will be sharing the arguments to and fro between the like the fragments that we'll be designing. So for that we require to add the uh, navigation libraries as well. So let's jump onto our Gradle file and add those uh, libraries. So this is a Gradle file and, and, and this is a place where we are going to add the dependencies. So the very first dependencies that we are going to add is the navigation component. So I'll just create this header and we'll jump on to our Chrome and to our browser and here we'll search about navigation dependencies android and you have to go to the first link i suppose and inside this link yeah so here are the list of dependencies but uh we don't require all of these so we just require these two dependencies and the version is 2.4.1 so what we can do is we can add this we can remove this for instance because we already know the version We have the navigation component dependencies and another dependency, uh, let's name it as third party. Okay, so another dependency which we require to add is that animation one, which is the Lottie files. So Lottie files uh, provides us very cool uh, animations for Android. So if you just have to type Lottie files and go to the second link here. And in this uh, uh, portal, you can find plenty of free animations for your Android. Uh, you can make your app look wow. So this has like a lot of animations which you can use very smooth framed animation. And the good thing is that most of these animations are free of cost. Um, you have to go inside design and then integrations. After this, you need to find go down and here you'll be having this library section for Android and after that it will redirect you to the github page where you can also find the sample files from which you can get started uh, so all we are interested right now is this uh, dependency time and that's it so Lottie version is 4.2.2 the latest one it's 4.2.2 yeah. that's it so model is built and now we can jump on to our third one third point in our to-do list okay start with our navigation graph um, so our next step is to start with our navigation graph. So in order to do that, easiest way is that you see this resource manager on your left hand side. Just click on resource manager and uh, here you have to find the navigation. So there is no navigation. Click on this add button and it will ask you to uh, set a name for your navigation uh, file. Uh, just uh, I'll do it main nav enter. Once you click enter, it will automatically create a navigation graph for you. Uh, just switch back to project and here you can see a new folder has been created with this file main nav. Now, uh, so as of now, you don't have any fragments. So in order to work with navigation graph, so we have to create our first fragment. So let's jump to our to-do list and this is our final step, which says that 
uh, we have to set up a link fragment so create a new uh, package which will say fragments okay inside this fragment we'll be creating a new fragment blank and the name of the fragment will be link fragment finish once you have this fragment just remove this boilerplate code we don't require this we don't need this um, private latent it bar link fragment binding link binding yeah link binding and it's private well binding add a ghetto uh, here and do it as link binding that's it on view created we can add more overrated method which says on view created so once we have uh, this uh, setup ready we can jump um, to our navigation graph now because we at least have our first fragment to get started so inside this navigation graph you have to click on this uh, new destination button on the top and it will automatically provide you the list of fragments which are present so let's let it get refreshed and here is a fragment which we are interested in click on this it will be automatically populated on clicking and uh, as you can see in this a uh, home icon has been set up on this uh, link fragment which means that this will be our entry fragment uh, for all the graph uh, uh, views that we'll be setting in future so that's it what we want now what we have to do is we have to jump onto our layout file and add some views inside it.